This month we are receiving Perina Silla from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Samoa, who was just reviewed at this 11th session of the University of Credit Review in May 2011. So please Perina, we would like to hear from your perspective, coming from a small state, an island state, um, your perspective in the UPR process. So could you please start by telling us how was the national consultation, drafting the national report and also the review in Geneva. How was the organizational side of this coming from a small island? Thank you, um, Ron. The UPR process, um, as soon as we were informed by the United Nations of our um, incoming turn to be uh, appearing before the UPR working group uh, for our report, um, we immediately started um, and established a national task force, a committee that comprised of all the relevant government agencies, um, 13 agencies um, actually, and we also included in that task force members of the civil society. Um, two months later after that, we had a national consultation, which we received um, great technical and financial support from our regional organizations, namely the Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat and the Secretary for the Pacific Community. They helped us in the in the um, <coughs> convening of this national consultation. The consultation also um, was between the ministries of the government agencies as well as the civil society. And then after that, um, we, we, we started drafting the report. And in the drafting of the report, we received um, um, comments and replies from other government agencies. Um, we drafted uh, from foreign affairs, we drafted up the, the issues that are relevant to human rights in Samoa and in accordance with the guidelines on the UPR report that we received from the, from the UN. Uh, when the report was finished in a draft form, we, uh, we put it through cabinet because we believe that it must also enjoy the endorsement at the highest level. And uh, we did, and uh, after that, it came back just before, at the end of November, then we started to have our public forums on it. And these public forums were held on the two main islands of Samoa. Uh, the first one was in Upolu, and the second one was in Salai in January. And, uh, and before we did that, we also translated the report into the Samoan language, because we believe that since we are taking the report to the, to the, to the public and to the village communities, it must be in a format and in a form that is understandable by every single person. And then how was the preparation for coming to Geneva? Did the OHHR help you uh, traveling to, to Geneva? How, how, did it, how was it organized? Traveling to Geneva is a challenge on its own. Firstly, we have to obtain our visas from New Zealand. We had to travel to New Zealand for that. Um, we received financial support from OCHA, um, some financial support. The rest of the uh, expenses had to be met by government as well. At the same time, we received um, financial assistance from, from the government of New Zealand that enabled the participation of some members of my delegation. How was the, how was the review itself? How did you prepare? Did you talk to delegations beforehand? What would be the questions? Did you make some fact sheets on certain issues? How did you prepare? Knowing that you don't have a mission here in Geneva. Uh, we were we were clo working closely with the members of the Troika. Uh, we were also tapping into our colleagues and friends here at uh, Geneva, the, the missions like New Zealand, and also at the Secretariat, the UPR Secretariat, and we got some very good advice. At the same time, as you know, we have a mission in New York, yes. uh, at the United Nations, and they've also been very helpful to, to this national endeavor. So, Perina, can you please tell us your assessment of the UPR process? What do you think the UPR is important for small island, for Samoa? The UPR process is, is a good mechanism um, to allow countries to tell their story of the situation of human rights in their countries. This is the opportunity for countries uh, to come here, to be reviewed by their peers. It's an intergovernmental process to be reviewed by their peers and, and say, this is what, that, what is happening in my country. We would very much like to work with you to advance or promote and protect human rights in, uh, in our country, but we can only do so much. We would very much uh, like to, to engage with you to ensure that this endeavor uh, is, is achieved. <coughs> so for, for a small island state, 
to be participating in this. It's, we're not on the sideline anymore. We are actually having a voice. But at the same time, if I may say so at this stage, that we, there have been some challenges in this process. Uh, some of these challenges um, is, for instance, we are only given like three hours from the time that we receive the recommendations from the member countries. We are only given like three hours, one, three hours to look at the recommendations. Yes, and agree, or what, on, come back to the Secretariat in three hours' time and say, and give them our position on, on what we want to do with these recommendations. It does not give us enough time. What would be the, the positive aspect of the UPR? What, what did work while engaging in the process? What would you highlight as the best parts of the, this UPR process so far? It gives the, the international community to listen to us and say, oh, okay, so that's what's actually happening in that, in that country. It also uh, gives us an opportunity to engage further with the international community in some of the areas where we feel that we would very much like to improve on, but we would need their help. What would be those issues? Issues like capacity um, and resource constraints. Uh, some of the, the as a small island state, we were also uh, very vulnerable to, to external shocks, natural disasters, which affect our human rights. The right to food, food security, the right to life, uh, the right to education, access to education, access to health. Thank you very much for your, for your, uh, for your interview and we're looking forward to seeing you again maybe in September. Thank you very much for the opportunity.